Hi, my name is Jessica from the fashion lifestyle beauty blog, Jeans in a Teacup, and today I'm going to be showing you how to style this Rouge Gabine dress that's going to be featured in the new James Bond movie coming out soon. So when I saw that this Rouge dress specifically, this color and print, was going to be featured in the upcoming James Bond movie, No Time to Die, I believe that's the title. Um, I was really excited because obviously I love the Rouge Cabine dress and I have a lot of them and yeah, I just felt like I could be a part of the movie. I felt like I could be a James Bond girl. Alright, so if you're unfamiliar with Rouge Cabine dresses, um, I have a full blog post of a review of all the Gabine dresses that I have. I love this dress so much that I have like four or five of them. So I did a whole blog post reviewing um, styles and sizing, um, so I'll put the links down there. But the reason I keep buying this dress is because it's just so flattering. Um, I love Rouge as a brand in general, but this is my favorite piece that they um, sell. It's just um, a wrap style dress basically, but instead of a true wrap style, it has these buttons um, that go down the front. There's like five of them and that just helps to keep the dress together. So usually with wrap dresses, I have trouble with it like opening up too far and then opening up too wide here and I just feel like everything's coming apart. Um, but not with this dress, I feel like it stays together a lot better than typical wrap dresses. It still has um, a tie so you can make the dress tighter or looser, um, but then it has the buttons to secure the dress so it doesn't come all the way undone. And the sleeves are just a really lovely length, um, almost down to my elbows. It's a really nice length. It goes um, past my knees several inches. And yeah, it's just so pretty. I just feel like a French girl every time I wear this style dress. Okay, so I just wanna share the sizing and fit really quick. I'm wearing a size 38, and I'll leave my measurements in the com um, below in the box. Um, um, as you can see, it's not like super form-fitting on me. If I untie um, the ties, there's a little bit of room in the waist still, and then um, room in the hips. I don't like um, these dresses to be super tight right out of the box because this fabric does shrink or tighten up a little bit. Um, I think this is a rayon viscose blend. Um, so I feel like that shrinks up even more than the 100% viscose version of this, of this dress. So depending on the color and the print, they are kind of made out of different materials. So you just wanna double check because I feel like the blend um, version of this dress shrinks more than the 100% um, viscose version. So I'm expecting this to shrink up a little bit, tighten up. I think it's going to get tighter around the arms. I think it might even get a little bit shorter and um, I feel like it's going to you know, get tighter around the hips. So when in doubt, I think you should size up with the Rouge Gabine dresses um, because you can tighten it at the waist if it's a little big. You can even move the buttons over if it's a little too big. Um, so you can adjust it a little bit, but you definitely don't want it to be like too tight around the hips um, or the bust. So that's why I go with a little looser size. I still can fit, I can squeeze into a size 36, um, but I like the extra room of the 38. So that's how it fits. Okay, so first I'm going to show you a similar way um, that she, the actress, styles this dress in the James Bond film. So she pairs this dress with a pair of espadrilles similar to these. Um, she has more of a wedge espadrille and it doesn't have the lace-ups, it just has a strap in the front. Uh, but this is the closest thing that I have in my closet right now. So she pairs it with a, a pair of espadrilles and then a cream colored bag. I'll put the direct links to what she's wearing below and then I'll also link the similar items. So, um, but I think this look really kind of looks very similar to what she's wearing in the film. All right, if you don't have a pair of espadrilles or you want to uh, make this look a little bit more dressy, then just pair it with some strappy heels 
I love these. These are from Zara and yeah, just really simple strappy heels. Um, so for date night, I would wear this. I would still wear um, my little clutch bag. I would still pair these heels with this bag. I think it's super cute. You can also attach a long strap to this. And then if it's a little chilly, I'm going to wear this dress with a um, blazer. So this is a cream colored blazer from Everlean and it's a linen cotton blend, I think. But I really love how blazers look with dresses. Um, so I would scrunch up the sleeves a little bit, wear it like this, grab my purse, and I'd be wearing my heels. And I think this is a super cute date night look. Um, the blazer is great for when it's a little chilly outside in the evening. So there you go. Another way to style this dress, particularly for summer, is to pair this dress with a pair of um, brooches. These are from Nisolo, and I love this shoe brand. I've been working with them for the past three months to share some of their summer sandals, and this is my last pair of summer sandals to show you. And I actually think these also transition really well into fall. They are technically like a closed-toed shoe, but they've still got like um, ventilation, you know, for warmer weather. And then you could also wear these with a pair of tights or a pair of socks um, for a little bit more warmth when the weather gets cooler. So yeah, I love this brown shade with the red dress. Um, and then I would wear it with um, a nice summer straw bag. This one is from Cezanne and I've been using it all summer. I love it. You can see a review for this bag in my previous YouTube video. Um, but yeah, I love this combination of the brown leather with the red dress. I think this is a really cute look for summer as well. And I'm going to show you how to transition these shoes into a fall look with this dress. But before we get into the fall look, I just want to show you one more um, sort of spring look. Um, you can pair this dress with a cute little cardigan for some extra warmth. So I love this cardigan. It's from Musier Paris, another French brand, um, but I'm sure you could find a similar one. I will try to find one and link it for you. I like this one because this um, it's really feminine. It has these pearl buttons um, and it's kind of like a smaller cardigan. It's not like big and chunky, so it still looks feminine paired with this feminine dress. And I'll wear these cardigans with my Rouge Gabine dress, um, dresses very often if I need more warmth. All right, another way to transition this dress into more of a fall look would be to take your closed toed shoes, um, mine are the Harachas from Nisolo, and then pair it with a blazer that's more appropriate for um, fall weather. So like a, a wool blazer would be great. This one I think is just like a cotton blazer, but it is in a plaid print, which is more appropriate for fall. Um, I also have a similar, similar gray and black blazer in a houndstooth print, which would also work really well. Um, because this dress does have like gray and black flower details in it. So I think that pairs nicely with a gray um, blazer. And I love mixing prints as well. So this is a subtle plaid print and then the flowers are larger. So I feel like that print combination works really well. We've got the small plaid mixed with the larger flower print. Um, so I, I don't think it looks strange. I like this print mixing. Again, I would scrunch up the elbows or the, um, the arms and there I have. I love the oversized blazer look as well. So this is a little bit larger and longer than a typical blazer, uh, but I really like that casual vibe. And then I think it still works with my harachas, or you could pair this look with a pair of boots. So I have a pair of black boots that I will um, throw on with this look. Then if it gets even cooler, you could throw on a pair of tights. That would still look great. But yeah, I love these dresses with blazers. All right, I hope you like the style ideas I had for this Rouge Gabine dress that you'll see in the upcoming James Bond movie, No Time to Die. 
Um, this isn't sponsored by the movie or anything or Rouge. I just really love the Rouge dresses and I was excited to see that it will be in the James Bond film. Um, now I feel like a Bond girl. Um, so if you have any questions about this dress or um, anything else that you saw in the video, just let me know in the comments. You can also find me on Instagram at jeans and a teacup and on my blog, jeansandateacup.com. Um, so yeah, I will see you next time.